this week on Crime Story. Somebody open. You, Mr. Lupin. They open for 300. I call. Pass. Pass. Card. One good one, Jack. One, please. Take one, too. Five hundred. You and me. And five more. Good hand, huh, Paul? You're five, and then five again. I just call. What do you got, boy? Two pair, kings and tens. Hey, what are you doing? What do you got? Straight! Close this table down. It's unlucky for the house. Here, here's a hundred dollars. Take the rest of the night off. Thanks, boss. I'm the house school, boy. Shut up, Paula. You give me Arjuna. You know that? Hi, Paula. Hi, Doc. What are you doing here? We came to gamble. All right. Send someone to give us some chips. I got the chips here. Oh, come on, huh? All right, you happy? Hey, Jack, this is my wife, Corey. This is Max's wife, Joanne Goldman. Hi, Jack. Nice to meet you. I'll go win a million dollars, all right? You too, sweet. Corey, honey, your dog? Yeah, watch the dog. Give him the dog. Come on, Joanne, let's play. Look at the dog. Those coats in my office. Corey, take this, will you please? What do I do with the dog? Give me any ideas. <laughs> Coming to the Lucky Star Casino next Tuesday for a week's party after the show. Ooh, we grabbed some right. there. Early. This is always a very big sellout. Ooh. It's just... gonna make this one. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best, pleasure. huh, Jack? The Lucky Star Drink up. Casino is right. to We're gonna land a couple of these. I'm gonna have the corpses left to score with a couple of these chicks. Oh, here come the guys. Let's go.
like a tough guy, I'll treat you like a tough guy. When I ask you a question, I want an answer. Do you understand me? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Keep her away from me. <laughs> If you promise not to hurt you. <laughs> hey, hey, friend of yours down there, huh, Polly? Huh? Friend of yours? Huh? What do you do? A favor, buddy. Don't you ever get mad at me. <laughs> How are things at the casino? They got me buried back there in that poker room, so I can't even get close to Luca. The action is what's important. What do you got for me? Well, I've been eyeballing the key people in the casino operation. So far, I could write my report on a matchbook cover. Uh, I think mostly what they're stealing is from the slots. You know, I don't, I don't know the last steps of the skim, what happens to the money after they get it to the counting room, from the counting room to Luca. But However they pull it off, it's slick. Time, Jack. The more time you're in there, the more dangerous it is. I'm cool. I'm not. Well, from the counting room to Luca, that's the mystery. Now, one way or another, I'm going to get it, so be patient. I'll be patient, and I'll do spot checks, too. I'm going to send Nate Grossman in there. They don't know him. We're doing constant updates on security. The Gaming Commission is sending Steve Altman daily information on people that the Lucky Star Casino hires. OK, so we don't want any clown walking in there from your past and saying there's Jack Claymore, FBI agent, OK? Now, we're going to be in there, and Altman is a good man. He's not going to blow the job. Stay tight, Mike. OK. So we better break it up. Ready to go back? Yeah. Afterwards. Every time. 
hard to believe I'm only 18, isn't it? Oh, my God. No 18-year-old knows how to do that. Morning, good morning. How are you this morning? <laughs> you must have scored big at Keno last night, huh? Morning, Steve. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Morning, Counselor. How are you this morning? You're looking terrific. Hey, you, Smiley. So, how's it uh, with Jack Claymore? Well, he's got to get closer to the count room. How's the security going on his cover? We're not letting anything get by. Don't worry. Good. If there's any problems, let me know. We're taking the chances it is having him working in that casino. You know, if somebody from his past shows up, it's going to be uh, called on account of rain. No, Counselor, it'll be called on account of death. Let's hope not. I'm gone. Appointment with the Gaming Commission. See you later. So, Mike, can uh, you and I talk privately? Sure, Steve. Let's go outside. I know you and Lisa are seeing one another. Look, Steve, when this started, I had no idea that she was your ex or about to be your ex or... No, no, no. It's okay, Mike. I mean, we've been apart uh, six months now. It's uh, one of those marriages that never should have happened. Well, I know something about those kinds of problems. This is in Evanston, Illinois. It's the marriage and divorce capital of America, and we're both two grown-up adults. So what I'm trying to say here is... Uh, there is no reason for you to feel awkward or uncomfortable. We have to work together. I don't want you in an uncomfortable situation. And if you and Lisa hit it off, well, that's, uh, that's just great as far as I'm concerned. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Well, you're both great people. And you'll be getting a great gal. And, and Tracy's uh, adjusted very well as an adopted daughter. And I'll be concerned um, how you get along with her. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Sure. I really do. Yeah. Damn it! Hand me the tape, hon. Honey, hand me the tape. Come on, Tracy, help me out. Hand me the tape. You got problems? Yeah, you could say that. Anybody I know? Sure, you know that guy you married? We're not married anymore. Well, the way he comes and goes as he pleases, you wouldn't know it. What are you talking about? He came over last night and let himself in. Well, I changed the lock. Well, he has the key. I mean, I thought he wasn't supposed to come around He's anymore. He's not. What did he say? Nothing. He didn't say it. I, I just don't like him. Mom, I don't like you being out half the night. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I guess I get selfish. Sometimes I don't like to be alone. <sighs> well, I was just out with Michael Torello. I love you, Tracy. I love you too. Try and talk to me. Okay. <laughs> Look at the mirror. It's <laughs> <laughs> really bad. <laughs> What's wrong with Tracy? She's upset you came over last night. Go inside. No, she's upset because you're out half the night. Torello's a good man, Lisa, but don't neglect Tracy. My life is none of your business anymore, and you better start remembering that, or we're just gonna have to go back to court. You're threatening me with the justice system? We go back to court again. And I'll sue for custody of our daughter. She's not yours. I legally adopted her, remember? Natural father's dead. Let go of me. No, Lisa, Lisa, it doesn't have to be oh. like this. Listen, we can make this thing work oh. if we try. Are you kidding me? First of all, what you really mean is if I try, not we. You get to play dead, and I tried. Well, I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I got all tried out about six months ago. It's not over.
her. I want my family back. Give me back my key. What key? You let yourself in last night. What? Tracy let me in. I can't believe you. Where do you come off having a key to my apartment? Where do you come off leaving our daughter alone in the middle of the night? Hell of a mom, Lisa. I want my key back, and I want you to get the hell out of here. if I go to the movies with Donna now? Go ahead, take off. Wait a minute. Did you clean your room? It's done. My love is bigger than a Heard that one before. I try to show Your love for me has got to be real. I hope you can look on the path of my feet. Lisa? 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 Lisa. Lisa, what is it? What's wrong? Steve. What about Steve? He's raping my baby. Tracy, you had no right, Tracy. Steve, no why right. didn't you tell me? You knew. I didn't. How could you not know? He's been, he's been doing this to me for five years, Mother. Why didn't you come to me? I swear to you, I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? I was afraid. You know, I didn't think you would believe me. Oh, I thought you would think I was trying to take him from you, Mom. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, what are we gonna do now? Why don't the both of you stay at my place so no one can bother you? What about you? Oh, I'll find someplace else. She say anything at all about it? Not much. I wish she would. I know what's best. I don't know how to handle this. I think the important thing is to do nothing until you decide on what you want to do. What do you mean? 
that you and Tracy have to think this thing through. That Altman shouldn't know what you've discovered. You should say nothing to no one. If this thing gets exposed or goes public in any way, it can only hurt Tracy more. I'm not saying I should just sit back and do nothing. No. What I am saying is that you and Tracy have to decide if you want to prosecute him, confront him with it, or do nothing at all. He's got to pay for what he did to Tracy. Did you listen to these tapes? No, sir. I brought them right over like he told me to. All right, all right, you can leave. Where are we going? I'm taking you to breakfast. You see that guy in the van behind us? Don't, don't look too much. You recognize him at all? No. What's wrong? We're being followed. Window down. Down, down, down. My name is Michael Torello. What's yours? Wayne. Devon Wayne. Do you want to meet me, Devon? No, sir. Then why are you following me all over town? I was hired. Who do you work for, Devon? Suspicions confirmed. Who hired you? I can't tell you. Don't make me angry, Devon. Who hired you? Um, Steve Altman. Why? I can't tell you. Look into my eyes, Devon. What do you see? My funeral. Well? To follow you and to take pictures. Of who? Of you and the missus. Who? Mrs. Altman. Give me the keys, Devon. Give me the keys. All right, get out of here. You're off the case, Devon. Do you understand? Yes, sir, whatever you say. Do you understand, Devon? Yes, sir. Let me catch you following me again. OK? Goodbye. I did that well. <laughs> I thought the horse did well, too. <laughs> hey, Steve. Uh, Randa Mahoney, Steve Altman. You found the place OK, huh? Good. I need to talk to you uh, right away. I'll make some sure. coffee. David, uh, Yeah. <laughs> So it's all important. I have reason to believe that, uh, no, I, it's more than that. I have evidence. I have evidence that. What? Torello is trying to ruin me personally and professionally in order to cement the relationship with my ex-wife. That's ridiculous. Mike would never do that. Torello would never mix up his personal life with our business. All right. All right, what do you say to this? Take a look at these pictures. Man is trying to steal my family. Where'd you get these? I took them myself. I am not going to stand by and let a man steal my family and not put up a fight. Oh, look. Here. Look, he's, look, he's moving them into his own apartment. 
So, what do you say to this? I say I trust Mike Torella completely. I thought I'd get reasonable consideration from you. Now, look, Steve. I will tell you one thing. I have reason to believe Torello is spreading nasty rumors about myself and my adopted daughter. Look, Altman, I don't know what the hell you're talking I'm about. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, I'll tell you that. But I will not stand by and be vilified and slandered and not put up a fight. If all of these issues surrounding, surrounding my child and, uh, and uh, Tracy will be made public by me first. You understand that, Abrams? Made public by me first. Sit down here, play a few games. Open game over here. Come on, hold him game. And two empty seats, sit down and try your luck. Come on and sit down and play a few hands. Best and best we got best. an empty seat right here, sir. If you'd like to try your luck right here. Don't Sit down, down, and it's the greatest game in the world in Las Vegas, so have a little fun here. Come on, sit down, your cards, sir. and Thank play you. a few right. hands. Call. Call. Raise 20. 20 to you, ma'am. All right, Annie up. Bonus to the lady there. Yes, sir. Annie up. Uh, I'll sit down. Okay. Annie, you're in. Red. Go for cards. Gentlemen, that's plenty. Stay on top, punch me. What the hell is going on? New dealer I put him away six months ago. All right, let's go. Uh, come on. Altman. You should be here any minute. I've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. Joe, you can file those, please. Tell me exactly what happened last night in the Lucky Star Casino to Jack Claymore. I knew, it Mike. was an unfortunate situation, but it has been handled. Where is he? Mike, I want you to keep off Altman's back. He's under some pressure. Look, Counselor, I know what Steve, happened. Steve, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Altman? You having trouble doing your job? What the hell is that supposed hey, to mean? Hey, relax. Everybody's under pressure here. Not the kind he's under. Mike! Steve, I don't know what's between you, but I suggest you bury it right now. We got work to do here. You're off security. I want you to coordinate the probe of the Midwest Employees Pension Fund. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's Luca's bank. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on it. Handle it better than you did Claymore security. Mike. That was an accident. Don't have accidents when it comes to the security of my men. Mike, I told you that's been taken care of. I got more security on me. What's that mean? Ask Glover boy. Come on, Joe. Thanks, Doc. So talk. So the guy was in the poker room nosing around. I I don't want nobody causing problems in my game. How'd the beef get started? The guy was the heat. I, I got a thing about nosy cops. They make me nervous. How'd you know he was a cop? One of the chills told me. Who was the guy, Paul? I don't know, boss. I was taking a massage when the beef went down. Did you get a report from security? Security didn't take no report. Who's in charge of security, Paulie? I am, boss. There's nothing in there, Paulie, is there? Nothing at all. Nothing in where? In your head, you idiot! What are you getting mad at me for? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, that's right. What do you think, every day's a holiday? The guy was the G. I don't want no G man snooping around asking questions. I figured that's the best way to get him out of here. I figure I'm protecting the hotel and you, Mr. Luger. You hear that, Paulie? The what? Still work, Joe.
Mike. Hmm. Got a minute? Sure. Come here, let me talk to you. It's, uh, Steve Altman. What about him? He's been spouting some ugly stories about you, Mike. He's been living in Vegas a long time, and people are inclined to believe him. You know, some people around here don't know you like we do. Can you tell us anything about it? No, I can't, Danny. It's personal, and it's not the type of thing that ought to get out. There are people that would be hurt. All right? Sure. David, Lisa's got to figure out whether to prosecute or not. What's Altman's best defense? They're going to try to establish the mother is immoral. The girl was left home alone. You know, Mike, if they can prove that Tracy had sex with a boy her own age, that casts doubt. If, God forbid, they prove she had sex with two boys her own age, then she's a slut. You know, you can do anything you want to a slut. Any other options? Yeah. Get Altman to volunteer himself to therapy. He's going to get plenty of therapy in the joint, isn't he? He's got to be prosecuted. What about the publicity? A restraining order, then. I can arrange that. That's in front of a judge, not open court. Come on. Restraining orders aren't worth the paper they're written on. He'll break it and have contact with her. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. It's up to the girl. Oh, you're right. Tracy's going to have to make a decision. One more thing, Mike. From here on, he doesn't carry a shield. Well, he works on your side of the fence, Counselor, not mine. I'll take care of him. I'll get Lisa. Abrams wants to talk to you. Tracy, you see this ugly face? Huh? Do you? Well, this face has seen a lot of life. Now, I know that you've been beaten up emotionally and physically. Well, the physical part, that's all over with now. But what that did to you inside, honey, that doesn't heal so easy. And I know that, too. I feel so dirty. That's what I mean, Tracy. It's his dirt, honey, not yours. It's all right to feel mad. Come on. Come on. I don't know what to feel. Sometimes I... Well, he was the parent. I was the child. It had to be me that was wrong. How's that supposed to make me feel? I don't have all the answers, Tracy. But I do know that you have to talk to people. Your counselor is your mother. She loves you very much, and she's putting aside everything she feels to do what's best for you. I just want him out of my life forever. You have ways of doing that, too, legal ways. But you're going to have to make a decision. You'd have to face a few days of tough questions by lawyers who really don't care about how you're feeling. I have to talk about it in court. Yeah, you would. But only if you wanted to. If you don't want to, that's OK, too. We'll find other ways to keep him away from you. I just don't think I can talk about what he did to me. What 
what would you do? Me? Well, I'm not you, Tracy. You shouldn't want revenge because I would. You're a good person, Tracy, who survived the bad person. When you start feeling the pain, maybe you should work on feeling the pride, too. Your mother's proud of you, I'm proud of you. Maybe you should start feeling proud of yourself. It's your decision, Tracy. Taken to court. Who is he that he can get away with this? They're filing charges. I, I raised that child. I treated her like my own daughter, and Torello persuades her to make false accusations. You're taking some time off as of right now, Steve. You go home and get your life together. If the charges against you are false, you have nothing to fear. What if I'm being framed, David? Well, you know the law in Nevada as well as I do. Yeah. I could get 20 years. You know, you're on his side, too. You're on his side. Don't you understand? Torello got crazy to accuse me. He's doing this to ruin me so he can take my wife. I'm going to face my accuser. I'm going to face Tracy. And when I do, the real truth will come out. Believe it. Is there trouble? Why? Altman's carrying a piece. What? Altman. He took a gun out of his desk drawer. Where's Torello? He's with Claymore. Now, what's going on? Walter, I want you to try to raise Mike on your car radio. I'll bet you Altman's going after Tracy with a gun. Hey, Jack. Hey, Mike. How you doing? All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. You took care of that problem with the dealer in the casino. Now, now he slipped by. You don't want to hear it. But it won't happen again, I promise. Grossman tells me you got a pretty good wife. Yeah, well, he doesn't do too bad himself. <laughs> hey, Mike, I got some good news for you. I'm out of that poker yeah. bar. Where'd they put you? I'm a floor man in the casino. Does that get you any closer to the count room? You bet it does. I won't be able to see him skim some of that cash, maybe. Good. Yeah, right. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Abrams is coming to see you. He says it's urgent. Here he comes. What's wrong? It's Altman. He's in bad shape. He's got a gun, Mike. I think he's after Tracy. I notified the police. You go with Abrams. I'm going to my place. Come on. What are you doing to me? Go, go, go away, Steve. You're destroying me. You're destroying me, honey. Now, what did I do to you? Nothing. You know how much I love you. I just taught you about life. I, I, <laughs> I just showed you how to grow up. Come here. I never, I never forced you to do anything, did I? No, we... we made agreements, yes? We, we 
we agreed on everything. Okay. Okay. Now say it. Say it here. Say it into the tape recorder. Say, say I never say. forced you to do anything. You never forced me to do anything. Never we never anything. had sex. Oh, never. And everything you said to Torello and everybody else is all lies. I lied about everything. Okay, honey. Now why? <laughs> why? Why did you lie? Because, um, because what? Because, because my mom's never home with me. Your mother's never home with you, yes? No. What? Come on! I want to be at home with me. And what else? Hastily scribbled notes, pretty good alibi for you, isn't it? Hey, what are you saying? I don't suppose that even vaguely resembles your handwriting, does it? Are you choking on something? Why don't you spit it out? All right, wait a minute. Captain, I think you should make a case before you make your allegations, unless you want to be at odds with the Justice Department. It's all right, David. He's only doing what I would do. Listen, Captain, I would have killed this creek myself if he would have had the decency to wait a few more seconds. Clean up your life, Torello. Sooner or later, this kind of thing is going to go bad for you. This is a suicide. Let's get this cleaned up so the coroner can move the body. I don't really want to leave you. And I really don't want you to leave me. But it's the right decision, and it'll be good for Tracy, believe me. You disappear on us. Not a chance. You either, huh? Hey, Tracy, you take care of yourself, all right? 
All right. I told you, you were a survivor. You're so cool. Huh? What? What does she mean by that? I see you. Take care. All right, you two, I'll be talking to you. I love you, Mike. I love you too, kid. Slap your rocks twice. Thanks. How are you tonight, Michael? I'm just fine. How are you? Doing anything tonight? No, I'm not doing much of anything. How about you? No. You want to go out and have a good time? You know me. I'm always ready for a good time. Good. I'll be coming home. Wait for me.